the last of the steel barding was fitted and secured. Beneath the cloth caparison showed the knights' heraldry and who he served. The squire informed the knight that his steed was ready. Clad head to toe, helm to sabaton, in full plate steel armour, the knight mounted his war horse. Despite the extra weight this transferred to him, the horse was bothered little, for he was bred for war, and his size showed it. Sword and shield were given, then the lance. A devastating weapon that could unseat a combatant and cause irreparable damage. The knight, along with other nobles, took their positions upon the field of battle, each with their own colourful heraldry. The light shone off their armour, glowing bright. Radiant they sat, looking like a host from heaven. The sight was enough to take one's breath away. A horn sounded, horses trotted. Horn sounded again, lances lowered. Speed increased to a gallop, the ground shook, rumbled. The warriors of God charged their foe, a prayer on their lips.